And then, um, so we, we went and disintegrated. The next integrated program was to Ethiopia. Yeah. I was on that group too. We went to Ethiopia. We did all our meetings. And, and then everybody went to their rooms, wrote their particular part. We stapled them all together and we handed them over. And here's your integrated program. Uh, you're you're going to make me get on a soapbox. I, I'm, next week, I'm going to be in Dubai for, uh, for an important conference. And, and I'm supposed to do a master seminar and a keynote speech. And my master seminar is supposed to be on change. Mm, regular change management and, and the difficulties of it. And, uh, and there's all sorts of processes and methodologies available. You can do Six Sigma, you can do Lean, you can do, there's any number of wonderful methodologies. And, and, and still, change is a difficult uh, uh, thing. And, and your story so, so distinctly defines one of the key critical success factors of whether change actually gets is desirable is desirable or gets its feet on the ground is is are the powers that be involved informed okay um and are they paying lip service or 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 it because it needs the whole organization to be able to dance if, if it's just one level that's doing and i think a lot of a lot of you out there who do pro project management and program management are doing good jobs but you're kind of a subversive culture within the line organization that's doing the best it can i i, I heard a quote from deming the the godfather of quality management who said um i think the quote goes somewhat to this effect um a a bad system will always trump the intentions of a good individual Mm. Okay, so you can you can understand the value of integration, but if it's not supported from up up above, or at least let off the, the system, leash, the system. If yeah. it's not let off the leash, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it it will only have so much validity. 